So we're still cleaning out the barn, but we got tons of cardboard that we've been saving in the barn. And we want to, we usually use that as a way of, of uh, keeping down the weeds. So we want to spread that out on the soil to hold the weeds back. And I think we're going to take some of that brand new soil that we put up by the greenhouse and spread it on top of the cardboard to keep it from blowing away. I would be working on the roof over here today, but we have a wind advisory. The wind is not bad right now, but I don't need a sudden gust blowing a sheet of metal away and maybe getting hurt. So right now, cleaning out the barn is sort of expanding into other projects. I'm digging some post holes to put in a little bit of retaining, just a few scrap logs to do a little bit of a retaining wall to keep this from washing away. It's a snowball effect. Going into one project, creating another, creating another, creating another. Okay, now I need some logs to go between here and between there. I've got some that I've been saving down in the woods, so I grabbed this piece of rope to drag some. I'm running down here to where this other well is. This is where uh, Kimra and Jason had their camper. And one of these days, right up in here, we're gonna make a place for Claire. We're gonna take that container that's in the field and make a container house. These logs are even thicker than I remember. Some of them are just regular sized, but some are big. across and smoothed out the dirt a little bit I think I'm gonna add one more scoop of dirt over here I only brought one scoop everything else has just been sort of graded and moved around a little bit but I think I'm gonna put one more there to keep from washing so much and that should be good uh, also maybe today since we're doing all this I might go ahead and get my asparagus in the ground which I might do just right over here Cindy's spreading down the cardboard and I'm about to start bringing this nice soil and piling it up on top. I really hate to scoop anything off this pile because it's wonderful to know that you have this big pile of good soil.
Okay, several loads later, we got a garden. <laughs> so we, Cindy spread down all the cardboard. She did most of the raking. We just put in a whole bunch of loads of dirt and spread it all out. You know, we're not going for a perfect rectangle or anything. What's really nice though, is that this is gonna be able to act like a raised bed. So this is, uh, when I stand up close to it, it's at knee level. And so the first two feet, of garden around all the edges we're gonna be able to reach. And so we might do a different kind of planting around the edges than in the middle, depending on what needs, how much maintenance, <laughs> how much weeding, that kind of thing. So I think now I might try to just see if I can tear the ground up a little bit right here to put in some asparagus. That'll be a permanent patch. Um, like I said in a previous video, uh, it can last 15 or 20 years and actually even 25 years. So I should say 15 to 25 years for asparagus. It is a hybrid, which uh, if I want, I, I like to have plants that are not hybrid in case I want to collect seeds and grow some more later because um, the hybrid isn't going to come out the same when you replant the seeds. Okay, I got my area cut out right here. That's the amount of dirt that I took out of there. And so I'm gonna put down a load of the good soil and then I think I'm gonna put a load of the not as good soil and then another load of the good soil because I don't wanna just use up tons of the good soil because it's supposed to be buried fairly deep. Okay, I got them all planted. Um, I put this beam here to keep the soil from washing away quite as much. Also, it gives me a guide as to how deep to go because we're supposed to bury them about 12 inches deep. Okay, I got the soil filled up all the way to the top of my beam and I know my beam is an eight inch beam. So eight inches of soil, they say to do eight to 12. I'm gonna go with eight for now. And I think later, as it, set, it starts to settle a little bit, I might fill in some more. I'll probably just leave this pile of dirt here because we always need dirt here or there. I know uh, down here at the bottom of the hill is a great place to put some dirt to try to create a better slope for getting down in there. You can barely drive in there because it's hard to get back out. <laughs> I've gotten stuck down in there before where I had a really hard time getting out. Okay, we've been working on this. I've, of course, I got a bunch of the stuff just pulled out. I have a neighbor that might take these cabinets. And then we got some cardboard to take to the dump. A little bit of trash to get rid of. But there we go. We got the floor cleaned up. We had these mats. We had a stack of them sitting right here that we bought for uh, putting on the floor in this room and in this room. So those have been sitting there for <laughs> two years, maybe. And now they're in on this side. once before so we're we're dabbling in a thousand different little things <laughs> but only mastering a few so that's how much cream we get from a half gallon of milk which is significant it surprises me Cindy said we got a full quart off of a gallon so actually maybe more would settle out of this and then Cindy made some butter. How much butter you can get from the cream of a whole gallon. So that's like a whole entire stick of butter. And then with the leftover buttermilk, she used that for hamburger. making hamburger buns. <laughs> so it's fun to piddle around with what you can do with milk straight from a cow. So over here at the big coop, 
we brought in the babies. They've been doing well. They've been over here for two or three days now. Nobody's beating them up too bad, but I'm sure they understand the pecking order. Ha, ha, ha.